Welcome back, Libras. I hope everyone is doing good. We are going to be doing your monthly love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe as this does help grow my channel. If this reading does resonate with you, please remember to um, leave your comments below because I do like hearing everybody's um, comments. And also, if you're resonating with this reading, we do like to hear that. Okay, Libras, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Cross Watchers, this reading is a general reading. It's not going to be for everyone. If you would like a personal, more in-depth reading regarding you and your person, my information is listed below. Okay, Libras, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. Please remember to watch this um, video until the end as I will be pulling some Hidden Truth Oracle um, messages for you. Okay, so the first card I have is Courtship, Change, a message. Okay, Libras, I feel like you um, could be um, dealing with somebody who, from your past, this could be um, somebody that was pursuing you or was giving you a lot of time and attention, and that connection has changed. But I do feel like you're going to be getting communication from this person. I also feel like for some of you, there could be like an, an apology from this person because this person has, the person is a little bit lonely. They have a little bit of regrets in regards to distancing themselves um, with you, Libras. Or, yeah, they, they feel like they're not as connected as they have been in the past with you, Libras. Okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and the Devil card. Libras, I feel like you guys are very focused and um trying to balance out a particular work situation or focusing on your career your finances and your goals we have the, the nine of pentacles the three of pentacles and the queen of pentacles there's a lot of pentacles here so it's definitely a financial um situation that could be going on around you libras where you're trying to figure out how you're going to come out of a particular financial situation um or reaching the goals where you find more financial stability. But I'm also getting Libras. I mean, you guys are very balanced. You're very stable. Um, when you do get into a very logical um, position where I feel like you guys are at right now in pursuing and you, you become very determined. You know, you do like the finer things in life. You want to be able to have a more balanced relationship. And I feel like that's what you guys are kind of experiencing right now. We do have the Three of Pentacles. So you're a person from your past could have had another party involved. Or there could still currently be another person involved. But I do feel like there's a very strong connection. I don't know if it's you or this person has kind of like put this relationship on hold or walked away from the connection. But I do feel like your your person is a little bit um, confused, hurt, and especially with the devil card, and jealous <laughs> that, you, that you have distanced yourself from them. They want to know what you're doing. Um, so I do feel like that your person from your past is going to come back and reconcile for some of you leaders. You've walked away from this um, connection because you are very, um, w with uh, like, like strength it, it took you a lot of strength and effort and um to finally like walk away from this situation we have the judgment card the four of swords the nine of swords and the world card yeah okay so libras i do feel like you're you're desiring a major change in your life especially regarding relationships i do feel like you have been dealing with a soulmate connection from your past this person could have um just it, it doesn't necessarily need to be a relationship it could be a very very strong friendship or just a very strong soulmate connection and for some of you this person has created a major disappointment around you so now they're trying to come back and reconnect with you because they know it was their fault and they feel that they have treated you poorly so for some of you you could be um expecting or getting or receiving an apology even if you're not in full connection or full contact with this person or in no communication, because we do have the judgment with the four of swords. So I feel like there's definitely been a major shift or major change between your connection and your person from your past. And I feel like for some of you, you really like overthought this situation over and over again. Some of you have lost sleep. Some of you, it's even affected your sleeping patterns, but there is a repeated pattern or repeated cycle with this person. And you're desiring with the world card to kind of end that um, connection. 
but this person is showing up as a devil so you they could be very toxic or the connection between the two of you is very tox toxic but i feel like for most of you you're very focused on yourself and i'm seeing your other person is very focused on their self so there is like a little bit of selfish energy between the two of you where there is some control issues so if this person that you're dealing with in your past um has displayed bad habits or maybe you're now seeing these habits as like this is who they really are right so you could be um this person also could be very jealous of you with that devil card they they tend to be very possessive or very jealous of you so when you pull a walk away and you start focusing on yourself they tend to come towards you very quickly they're not they're not away for long um they know that you're the queen of pentacles you're very kind, caring, loving, but also at the same time very, uh, very independent. I also get like a very nurturing energy from you, Libras. Like you could be very nurturing at the same time, very disciplined. So they, they know that they have a lot on the table. Um, or that you have a lot on the table to bring towards them. Sorry, <laughs> guys, I had like a little bit of confusion there. They, they know your value. They know who you are. They know what you have to offer them in terms of a relationship. That is very clear. If this person did not feel that you um, were uh, a good mate or a good connection with them, though that situation has absolutely changed. And the connection between the two of you is now starting to evolve to a different level because some of you could be dealing with somebody who is who's showing this like, possessive jealous energy and they are fighting for your attention or will be coming towards you to fight for your attention because they know that you're kind of walking away they feel like you're bringing and creating distance between them and they're not feeling very comfortable with that so they're also feeling that they're really not um able to give you what you need and what you desire because they also feel like you're not they're not on the same level so there could be like um a cultural difference or um a social status difference between the two of you i do feel like there is a, a distance that kind of keeps you guy or maybe it's just your person feels like they're just not able to give you what you want you need what you desire what you deserve more so is like they know that you deserve love and they're just showing me that with the devil card it's like oh yeah I don't want I don't want this person to leave but I I don't know how to give this person what they actually deserve I can't like match their energy like i feel like your person from your your soulmate connection is just not able to match your uh energy at this time they might have some growing up to do and um this situation's really um kind of created um a lot of stress and anxiety for you libra libras and i feel like for some of you you might decide to kind of part ways we do have the world card like you're desiring even though this person's coming towards you and they want to reconcile you and work things out libra we are in Mercury retrograde, so oh, you know that always brings things from the past back. You're you're getting, you're getting communication. We have the Page of Swords, the Two of Wands, the Death card, followed by the Hangman. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Magician, and the King of Wands. I normally don't go that far with the bottom of the deck, but let's just stick with the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we have the Four of Swords and Nine of Swords. Um, kind of in the center. So this person, you could have needed a break from this connection. I, I do feel like for some of you, there is um, a separation. Or you've taken some time to heal Libras. I feel like that that could be um, one of the reasons why you're very focused on your career, your finance, your work. Because you've taken some time to, to rest and heal from this connection. Take a, you're taking a step back. You're evaluating your situation. But at the same time, you're healing um, from your past. Your person is aware, is aware that they have not treated you. Um, the way that you deserve and they didn't give you what you want for some of you So they they know that they've caused you a lot of um, pain like hurt and I do feel like for some of you Libras with the four swords, especially like you are working on Healing, okay, so we have the page of swords Two of wands you do need to make a decision Libras We already knew that that was coming the hangman and the death card or the death card and the hangman. Sorry so I feel like your person is is starting to change. They're trying to take a, a different approach with you. Someone wants to come back and they want to tell you that they have changed. But I'm also getting um, with the hangman, even though they're going to reach out, their words are not matching their actions. 
So I feel like they're very sincere. They do feel regret. They're sorry the way that they've treated you so badly. But there's um, these actions are just not matching their words. So if you um, do get communication this month, Libras, or if this person does start to come back towards you, it's still a little bit um, back and forth type of energy. And I feel like with the Page of Swords, that's what they're showing me. It's like, you know, we, it's always the Page of Swords. It's like a double-edged sword. A lot of people talk about that. Um, but what I'm getting is, it's like, you need to make a decision because they're not going to make it. They're perfectly happy with the way things are. They're going to tell you what they need to tell you. They're very jealous. They're very possessive. They do not want you to leave them. Um, they don't like the, the change. Some of the, I, and they're very, there's a lot of passion between the, the connection. Libras, you guys are aware of this. Like you, you feel it when you're around them, but they're still creating this, this blockage with the two of you. So I just remember what I'm saying to you right now, Libras. They're going to come to you. They're going to say they're sorry. But I am seeing that the, the, what their actions are showing you is going to be differently. I feel like, and, and they'll, they'll quickly start showing you that they haven't changed. I don't feel like they're going to hide it. But they do want to come back into your life. They want to get back into some type of routine or you desire to get back into a routine with them. And... It's almost like I'm getting, I wish things could be the way the good old days were, <laughs> is what I'm getting. Like, okay, we all, we can't stay there because we're going to remain stagnated. I do feel like this person could not have, um, could have um, maybe um, held back information and didn't tell you the full truth. I don't want to say that they lied or they cheated, but I do get like, they they could be a little bit secretive. So they only give you the information that they want you to hear. They do... Um, I don't know why I'm getting like, it's almost, I feel like somebody av avoids the word lying. And that could be what this page of swords is about. And where the two of wands is, is like, you have to make a decision, Libras, because this person is also going through a difficult time. I feel like they could be a little bit emotional. So they might get sappy on you. So you could be seeing some changes around your person, but I feel like these, these changes are very minimal. They're, they're not big, significant changes. Because this person is still working through their karma. We do have the judgment card. So that is karma. They could be working through a little bit of their um, shadow side and or their karma. I do feel like this person is not owning their issues. Like you are very well aware and you're able to see your person for who they are now. Or you've, you've been seeing it, but you have... Um, But there's some things that you haven't seen. And I feel like with this, this possessive jealousy energy that they have deep inside of them, maybe you've seen it, but you haven't seen them show you this towards you. They do love to be um, at the center of attention. They love attention. But um, again, Libras, this is up to you. It's a, we have the two of wands, we have the death card, and the hangman. I feel like this person is going to come back towards you. They're going to try to make an effort. They're going to apologize. And um, you are going to be have to, you are going to have to make a decision, Libras. It's like, it's almost like you're going to have the say in the situation. We do have the six of wands at the bottom of the deck. And I did see the ace of cups. So Libras, you are actually, I feel like there's a potential new connection for you that this person wants to charm you. They want to show you who they are. They are even like, they could even brag about like how they are as a person or what they do. But it, it, there's, there's a simple like romantic connection between you and this person. And they do, um, they do want you and they do desire you. And they, for some of you, you could be moving forward with this new connection because it's like an offer of love that's coming towards you. And I do get like, there's like almost like an instant passion. So there's an instant connection. Um, they do have feelings towards you. This person, you might even meet this person. Um, it could be a friend that introduces you or at a gathering or an event or some type of social situation, Libra. I feel like you're going to end up meeting this person. It could even be with somebody like through your work environment or um, having to do with what you do in terms of like work career or finance that you meet this person with the six of wands because I feel like it's, it's like almost like a double... Um, but I got like, I got like a picture of a four leaf clover. So I feel like it's just a luck and four leaf clovers always remind me of synchronicities. 
So there's definitely going to be some romance picking up for you, Libras, this month for the month of September. Some of you, yes, you are dealing with your past, but I also feel like somebody new is coming towards you. We do have the world card, so I feel like you are ending a cycle and, and moving into another cycle, but your main focus is definitely on your finances, your work career. So I don't feel like anybody's going to throw you off track with that this month, but just be prepared because you do have your person coming towards you from your past with an apology, wanting to reconcile with you, but really not doing the actions and um, having a lot of like progress with your, your past person. You do have somebody new coming in. There is this new connection. It is going to make you feel very good because it's the six of wands. It's about victory, success, and um, just kind of like owning your own. This also could be a new... Um, financial opportunity that does come towards you, but I feel like it's more of a love connection because you have the Ace of Cups underneath the Six of Wands, so that's showing me that there's going to be new love that comes into your life. Let's go ahead and see what your person from the past, their hidden feelings or their hidden truth and emotions towards Libras. Let's see what your past person is feeling. I, I do feel like that's a soulmate connection. I wish I could share my good news with you. They do hold back. They And I, I said this before, I it was my fault, but I blamed you. I will wait for a sign from you. Okay, so I do feel like this person is like understanding that um, that they they understand that they blamed you for certain things or um, certain situations, or they um, we do have the judgment there. So I I want to say that maybe that the way that this person judged you was not it wasn't like realistic. I feel like this person could have judged you on certain things or certain behaviors that you do or you um they just kind of like judged you and it just wasn't you. So now they're saying like it was my fault but they blamed you. So they realize that um that they have um created some distance between the two of you. They want to share this good news with you. But they're holding back. And the reason that they're holding back is because they don't know how you're going to receive them. And they're kind of waiting for, um, for you to, make, to take action. Um, for some of you, they do see you as a queen of pentacles. So they're very, you're very loving, nurturing, kind, caring. And just because you hold that type of energy, um, they're, that's why they're waiting. But here's the thing, Libras. You're not moving towards them, <laughs> so I'm not going to go there with them. I mean, they could think this, that's great, but that's not happening. Sorry. Um, because you guys are really kind of standing your ground and you're focused. You're focused on your career, your finances. They don't even understand that this is what you're doing. They're sitting here worrying about what you're doing and they can't figure it out. We do have um, the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. This could be your third party or they're the third party that they kind of brought into the situation, especially if this is a friendship connection. And, um, like, you're aware of this person, Libras. I feel like for some of you, if there is a third party involved, you are aware of this person, who they are, and even, like, you might even be, like, looking them up on the internet, um, because we do have the Page of Swords, so you could be, like, kind of watching and observing and seeing how that connection is going to go with your person. Um, but go ahead and see how it resonates with you, but I do see, you know, in the beginning of the reading, we had courtship change and message and i feel like that change is because somebody new is coming in for you libras so please remember to comment below because i would love to hear how this reason reading does resonate with you if you would like a personal reading with me my information is listed below and please remember to like share and subscribe to help grow this channel also hit that subscribe button so you do get upcoming notifications love and light until next time